You are now listening to the homily of Father McGowan, priest and member of the Discalced Carmelite Order. This service is provided by the Lexio Divina team, part of the LOV Verbum Day ministry, who invites you all to share this reflection and their love for the Word of God. The Gospel is the good news of salvation for mankind. That salvation is only through Jesus Christ, as Peter said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You alone have the words of eternal life. Uh, greetings to all who are listening, especially to the Love Urban Day family members. The Gospel reading is the Passion Narrative uh, from Mark, chapter 14, verses 1 to 1547. Uh, this was one of my favourite days in Jerusalem. For five years I attended the Palm Sunday procession into Jerusalem, retracing the steps of Christ and his disciples. It was a happy event, a celebration, singing and rejoicing, just as it was in Jesus' day. People were cheering him as he rode on the colt of a donkey. It was only later in the week that things turned nasty and dark. The passion narrative that we have just heard is solemn. It is meant to be. What happens is the most important event in the history of humankind. God the Father, out of love for us, sent his Son to redeem us. Even though his Son was divine, the Father allowed him to become fully human. Do you see the way they treated him? The soldiers crown him mockingly with thorns. They spit at him. Think about that. Have you ever been spat upon? Jesus, the Son of God, was spat upon. And they got down on their knees and mocked him. They wanted to humiliate him. And to the outside observer, they did. But Jesus accepted all this. He was surely thinking of the words of the prophet Isaiah, The Lord comes to my help, so that I am untouched by the insults. So too I set my face like flint, I know I shall not be shamed. And he went through all this and more for love of us, all of us, the saints and the sinners. This week, beginning today, we enter into the most important week of the church, indeed of the world, when we accompany Christ into Jerusalem. There we watch him being treated with bitter contempt. We will see him suffer and eventually die. But most important of all, we shall see him rise from the dead. And this gives us hope, a hope that can never be taken from us. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lexio Divina team hopes that this homily has helped you to deeply welcome the Word of God and gave you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. You can send us your prayer intentions by emailing them to us using the following email address lov underscore verbum dei b e r b u m d e i at outlook.com the wednesday prayer group gathering at 6 30 p.m uk time and father mcgowan will pray particularly for these prayer intentions if this homily has enlightened or touched you in any way please share it with your relatives friends community and on your social media have a blessed week <laughs>